focus there we go um hey guys i'm here no makeup let's do a little bit check here's the fit i um just got off work i've been wearing my pajamas all day also crocs also some stuff i need to go through and yeah, this is what I've been wearing literally all day. It is 5.26, and here I am, baby. This is me. Okay, I figured if I was about to be on camera, the back of my head, no ma'am. My nails, we're just not gonna, we're not gonna talk about it. No one's gonna talk about it. Wait, that is so scary. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. But yeah, all my nails, I ripped them off. Um, just for no reason other than to be a menace to myself. And um, wait, that eye booger is green. Should I be worried? Doesn't that mean infection? Anyway, I'm about to put my contacts in. Um, so if it is an infection... Work from home life, um, I did not brush my teeth today, no I did not, so we're going to do that because otherwise I'll wait around until bedtime and then I'll only have brushed my teeth once and that's gross. And I'm going to do a little skincare, squeak squeak. My heart goes beep beep, my cocks go squeak squeak, yeah. Okay, anyway, using my Mary Kay. So, what are we doing this weekend? Or this weekend, it's Monday. Um, what are we doing this evening, you guys? I don't know, like. I, I kind of want to make some stuff, like um, some TikTok recipes, but I don't have any other plans. I have some clothes I could try on, but I'd rather wait in time, like, <laughs> I don't know, like not so pale, <laughs> to try on like clothes and God swimsuits, like I'd rather just not be pale because I'm trying to like serve body confidence, but that's hard when you're also pale. I'm just now using my morning moisturizer. Thank God I got my SPF because the sun's about to go down. But I definitely need to up my skincare when it comes to working from home like i need to I, not just skincare my hygiene like i need to just put i need to not just like accept the worst hygiene like i, I deserve better i should get up wash my face and brush my teeth at the very least that's just like being a basic human like i should probably respect myself a little bit more than that so I'm gonna start trying to do that. It's not much better, y'all. Um, I kind of need to go to Ulta to get some eye cream, but I'm trying to just... Okay, let's do some makeup because we're nothing without a good brow. I'm trying to use a tripod these days, like be more profesh. It is a much better angle though. Like I used to just set you guys on whatever you would balance on, but now look at me, I'm a real boy. Oh my God, I never put my contacts in. I was like, why can't I see? That's alarming. Not that alarming. Also not my shade. 
not my shade. I don't hardly have any makeup that is my non-spray tan shade. So we're gonna work with this and do our best. Because at the end of the day, that's all we can do. Done. Didn't do much. Way overlined my lips. So that they look plump. I just overlined the shit out of them. Someday, I will get filler. But for now, I'll show you the products I use. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner, which honestly, I personally think the NYX nude liner is just as good. Not like as pretty but like because this one has like the pink tint so it looks more natural whereas this one has like the nude tint so it doesn't look as natural fraction of the price of this also you don't have to sharpen the next one you have to sharpen the charlotte tilbury one um, and then on top of it i either use nyx shine loud lipstick and gloss or I use just a Morphe lipstick. This one is the shade Freebird. And then I put the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline on top of it. This is the best gloss ever. Also, this is the prettiest shade, Silk. I'm going to add some more. Not because I need it. Because I want to have a glam moment, though. Okay. Now I need to put my contacts in because I still can't see anything. And now I can see. Um, if y'all had just, if y'all had just seen the struggle it was for me to get into this sports bra, you'd be concerned for my health. This is the sports bra that used to fit me perfectly. That I've outgrown, I've, I've outgrown a bit, but. That's why I'm putting it on, girl. I'm gonna work on it. Everyone's a work in progress. Everybody. Okay, I'm out of my position. <laughs> I just glitched. I'm out of my pajamas in a different version of pajamas because this is my truth, okay? No one else's business. Let's make the bed though because that's gotta go. Alright you guys, look at this little tripod I got for my TikTok career. Um, I just like, I think there was an attachment I could get for this one, but I didn't know how to do it. And this was like 15 bucks, so I was like, screw it. I'm gonna do it. Um, because I got tired of just like trying to balance my phone on things. And who knows, I'll let you guys know. Oh, I'll let you guys know if I actually like end up using it. I feel like I'm going to use it more if I just keep it like set up because like this one I never use because it's like under my bed and I just end up setting my phone on things. So let me film a quick TikTok. Whoa, this is crazy. It's like Inception. Um, I made a TikTok about these, but I'm putting on my whoa, Dr. Scholl's sandals. These are from Journeys. Look how cute they are. They are Dr. Scholl's. So they're adorable, but they are so supportive. They even have a little like spot for good arch support. I've been wearing them around the house, but they're actually like for like cute, like for going out. Now I'm stuffing my new to me key ball with pillows just to make sure that it holds its shape because it is kind of old vintage. Okay, she's stored properly. And now I'm gonna put her away in the closet. Time for my hot girl walk. I still have some foot pain from like, I don't know, wearing those bad shoes I took on my last video. So I have to walk in Crocs, but it's fine. Hey, how y'all doing? It's been a few days, but uh, I'm trying to do laundry and this man is literally always on my clean clothes, I swear. 
Okay, um, so last we checked in, my room was a mess, right? I cleaned all afternoon. It's literally dark out, but it's clean. So I have a quick haul for you guys because I just spent money. Also, I went out looking like this. Can we? I was like this. I'm like trying to make it look like I have lip filler. Anyway, um, it's not sunny. Um, okay. So I have a haul for you. No one asked, but here it is. First I went to Target. And I didn't get the newest AirPods because I wanted to save money. I saved $80, I got the old ones. I feel humbled. I feel like I am making a sacrifice. So this is what I got. I got the older AirPods. Mine officially stopped working today. They've been telling me like, help, help, for like months and I've been like, shut up. Well, today they died. I had a memorial, I said some words. Here we are, got some new AirPods. I got some e.l.f. beauty sponges. I got this little trio set um, just because I'm all mine are kind of getting. Anyway, so I need to throw them away. The next thing I got was some um, and then this e.l.f. Precision Airbrush Blender, which we're about to use, so I'm going to let it set, stay out. And then I got some e.l.f. Camo Concealer because this is my, my baby, my pride and joy, keeps me from looking, and then I got some tampons. If you want to know what kind of tampons I wear, those are the ones. And next, I just took a little walk over to Sephora. Oh, I'm sorry. Rewind. I drove to Ulta and I got the Loving Tan Deluxe Tan Remover. I'm gonna try this on Sunday. I know my tan is bad right now, but it's Friday night and I need this to look good tomorrow. So like, I'm just gonna add on top. But then like Sunday, time to get all of that off and use this. So I'll let you guys know how it works. Um, then I got the Loving Tan um, Maximum Self Tanner Conditioner. I use Pattern in my hair and it just works the best for me. And then I also got the ordinary, I got two serums. I got the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, which I have no idea what the heck that does. It just feels really good on my face. And then I got the caffeine solution. I use that in the mornings. And then, then I took a little walk over to Sephora and I got my birthday gift, which was Laura Mercier. Um, it's actually a really good birthday gift. I couldn't decide between this or the Tatcha. It was like a little Tatcha trio because I was like, I know that's expensive, but I know I love this powder. And I like this little size for like my purse. So, or like traveling. So I ended up getting the powder because this is really just the best powder. So I got the powder. And then it came with this other thing. I actually don't know what it is. Caviar eye stick eye color. Okay. Let's see. I need, my chair is creaky and I need a new chair. Oh, she's shimmery. It kind of feels like grandma-ish. Like this feels like something an old lady would be like, I just put it on my eyes and I go. And I have some glitter. But I mean, it's pretty. It's probably one of those things that I'll get and I'll never use, but I will use the powder. Then I got from Sephora some foundation, kind of boring, but I was out. Mm, then some eye gel. I didn't have any. I don't have a good eye cream. And I need a good one, so I'm trying this one. It's Peter Thomas Roth. Um, looks like that. I had the um, Neutrogena, I think, version of this at one point, and I liked it. So I'm trying it. We'll see. Let's see. There's no smell, so that's good. Okay. Then I got... He was like, hey, we'll triple your points if you get something from the Sephora collection. And I was like, well, I can always get like a brush or something. So I went over and I found this lip gloss and I got it. And then I got a spoolie too. 
Okay, then what I like really went to Sephora for was the Makeup by Mario uh, Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer and Skin Perfector. So, we're about to try those out. I don't exactly know what to do with them. So I'm gonna like watch a video and then I'm gonna do it. Very sheer and extremely buildable. I developed this so that it's very easy to build the product to your desired effect. Okay, so I have my first step, the skin enhancer. So I'm gonna put it on just like I would kind of bronzer. He said to put it on anywhere where you have, like where you would kind of put bronzer and then just blend it down. So I did my forehead. Uh, okay, so the girl at Sephora kind of talked me into getting this darker shade because she said it would my other one would be too light for me, which I'm kind of glad because I watched his video and he said it's going to look darker in the pan than on your face. And then also like the, the one he was using was medium and I got medium. Um, plus, she said like the most popularly sold one was medium, so that's what I got. Now I'm just like blending it down a little bit. I really wanted to get the brush, but it was unavailable. I mean, in his tutorial, Mario said put a little on the nose, so that's what I'm doing. So now I'm using the Skin Perfector, and he said it's just like kind of there to set what you just did. So just kind of go over it a little bit lightly. You guys, that looks pretty good. You guys have like the worst lighting, but for just like it to look like no makeup, my skin looks pretty, pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna finish my makeup, then I'll come. Okay, I wanted to get you guys at a better angle, um, but basically Mario snapped. This looks like natural skin. Like this looks, just looks like skin. I probably shouldn't have put on lipstick and such a heavy eye. I kind of was like over ambitious with that. I think I should have just done like the lightest eyeliner and mascara and it would have been a total no makeup makeup look. That sunspot is gonna get removed soon, but if that wasn't there, my skin would look flawless. So I would I would recommend it to anyone that wants just a natural look. Like I feel like at the at the at the pool this summer, at the lake, this is going to be a lifesaver. It's not sitting in my wrinkles on my forehead. It's just chilling there. It's just chilling. Um, okay, let me, now, so I had my room all clean, but now we've got this mess to deal with.